Since the release of the film, Back to the Future, enthusiasts from all over the world dream of inventing the hoverboard of Marty McFly. Today we will talk about the most famous flying devices, from hoverboards, powerful jetpacks, and tricopters, to large personal inventions that you can turn into a superhero for a few moments. Thank you for watching. Now, we turn to the list of real jetpacks. And the first among all is Jetpack Aviation's JB-9 that bills itself as the world's only jetpack. The device can carry a total of 10 gallons of kerosene and uses small-scale airplane engines mounted to each side that provides upward thrust. These engines mix ambient air with their exhaust gases to bring temperatures down to a comfortably warm airstream that can keep users floating in the air. David Mayman, the Australian inventor of JB-9, debuted his device by flying it over the Hudson River and around the iconic New York landmark. On the left hand, I've got a twist grip controlling yaw, says Mayman. If I turn my hand to the left, I spin to the left. You'll see some little yaw veins at the bottom of each engine, a little cup that tilts backward and forward. To go forward or backwards, which requires pitch, effectively what I'm doing is pushing both handles down. That'll make me go forward. With JB-9, you can take off and land from absolutely vertical. You can get an initial climb rate of 500 to 1,000 feet a minute and a speed of 60 miles per hour. So if you can imagine walking out your front door and being able to take off from your porch, it can be real today. But pilot David Mayman and creator Nelson Taylor went further. In 2016, he presented the new Jetpack JB-10. David Mayman, the Australian pilot of the JB-9, debuted his new JB-10 by flying it over the Principality of Monaco. Powered with two engines that produce more than 1,000 horsepower, the new device can gain the horizontal speed of up to 120 miles per hour. JB-10 can stay airborne for 15 to 20 minutes and reach altitudes of over 10,000 feet. Unbelievable for a device of the future. Unsurprisingly, all this gyroscopically balanced truck-sized vector thruster technology isn't cheap. Jetpack Aviation plans to start selling the JB-10 in 2019, but to get your hands on one, you'll need to shell out about $250,000. Amazing real-life Iron Man suit that actually flies. Meet Richard M. Browning, the ex-soldier who's created an amazing working jetpack. What's it like to fly in a real-life Iron Man suit? According to the inventor of this incredible working prototype, it's like riding a bicycle in three dimensions. 38-year-old Browning has developed a suit in his garage in Salisbury over the past 10 months. Propulsion comes from six miniature jet engines, similar to those used in jet-powered model airplanes, which are mounted on the arms and the lower back. The suit can fly in most locations, Richard says. Despite being capable of flying at several hundred miles per hour and at thousands of feet, Browning is currently exercising a bit of restraint. Besides, flying like Tony Stark is not as simple as just strapping yourself in and jetting off. The suit requires an enormous amount of physical effort to control. Even for Browning, a dedicated triathlete, in order to fly, he must follow a strenuous workout regime. In a typical week's training, he cycles over 150 kilometers. He also runs 40 kilometers every Saturday morning, so it's really hard to be an Ironman. Jetpack by Ives Rossi Ives, otherwise referred to as Jetman, is known to the world thanks to his flight on the reactive knapsack wing of his own invention. On May 7, 2011, Rossi reportedly flew over the Grand Canyon in Arizona. In October 2015, Ives and Vince Reffitt, wearing jetpacks, deployed from a helicopter flying at 5,500 feet and flew in a choreographed demonstration with an Emirates Airbus A380, cruising at an altitude of 4,000 feet over Dubai, reaching the top speed of the 304 kilometers per hour, about 189 breathtaking miles per hour. For landing, he uses a parachute. Ives Rossi made many flights on his wings, including flying over the English Channel, over the Swiss Alps in the ranks with two Swiss Air Force fighters. Unbelievable jet man. Flyboard Air, a new word in the world of jetpacks and hoverboards. Frenchman Frankie Zapata is well known as the inventor of the completely new extreme sport, flyboard. 
Yes, Frankie Zapata invented and patented these unusual flying things on water thrust. The new flying board is devoid of all connection with the Earth. No more hoses, no water, no hydro cycles. Only you and the flyboard with its built-in powerful turbine at the bottom. It is stored on the pilot's back in a special tank. To control the board, you use a remote, and if you are lucky enough to own the first model, you can use the first remote as well. The flyboard is capable of lifting a person to 9,800 feet in height, and the flight time doesn't exceed 10 minutes with a full tank. The maximum flight speed is about 93 miles per hour, but no one has tested it yet. During the first flight test of his brainchild, Frankie decided to play it safe, so he only rose 98 feet above the surface of water, developing a top speed of 34 miles per hour. The Scorpion 3, a single-seat electric-powered hover bike by a Russian company that builds drones. Footage uploaded to YouTube of the inaugural flight is on track to break 1 million views. It shows a tester wearing a motorcycle helmet to guide the hoverboard through the air inside a factory. Though, don't expect a motorcycle's license or even a pilot's license to authorize you to ride one of these things. The only thing that would, in my opinion, is a willingness to have your legs amputated in the name of extreme sports. Flight, personal tricopter of the future. The project started in the summer of 2014 at an applied research institute in the country. It is a coaxial Y6 layout tricopter, which means that the lift is generated by six rotors, grouped in counter-rotating pairs of three axes that are positioned uniformly around a circle. On the manned flight, the flight concept demonstrator had a takeoff weight of 210 kilograms, and this video shows how flight will look like in the near future. The Flying Kitty Hawk machine itself doesn't look so much like a flying car as it does a majestic giant drone, upon which our Silicon Valley superiors can soar over our heads like modern day knights on their geeky steeds. Powered by eight propellers, Kitty Hawk can reach speeds of 25 miles per hour. The flyer weighs only 220 pounds, which means you won't need a license to fly it, and it's legal to operate in the United States, so long as you fly it over water in uncongested areas. Desel Molnair hates traffic, so he's built a flying machine. The G2 is constructed using a steel and carbon fiber frame paired with a stock Suzuki GSX R600 motorcycle engine and a carbon steel propeller. The propeller disengages with the rotor and engages with the transmission, allowing the vehicle to achieve speeds of up to 200 miles per hour on the ground and 90 in the air. Mad Max in real life. Arcaboard. Inspired by the same film, developers constantly propose new ways of construction flying gadgets. Unlike its predecessors, the Arcaboard is able to soar above any unruffled surface. Actually, it has a weird appearance. Arcaboard looks like a concrete slab. Arca Corporation deals with development and production of space rockets, so the basis for creating flying board is the energy created by the motors. The flight of the device provides 36 electric motors with a total power of 272 horsepower. These start the appropriate number of channeled fans. As a result, Arcaboard can raise a passenger up to 242 pounds and fly about 1.2 miles at speeds of up to 12.4 miles per hour. The resources of lithium batteries suffice a maximum of 6 minutes and then the batteries need to be reloaded for 6 hours. Omni Hoverboard this hoverboard consists of eight propellers, which lift it into the air. The device is made out of carbon fiber. Power engines, which produce a total power of about 40 horsepower, are carried out through 12 batteries. But unfortunately, this hoverboard can be in the air no longer than a minute and a half. During the first test run, it overcame a distance of 3,000 feet. Bike by Colin Furs, a levitating bike that does not fly as low as some previous models, but this design is worth the attention. In addition to these things, Colin Furs' channel is full of cool inventions. You'll find the link to his channel in the description. Our list is coming to an end, and it's time to chill with Hammock Room. There is a rumor that it is just a well-executed VFX trick in a commercial for Dutch insurance company. Anyway, the idea is as simple as it is beautiful. It's a hammock that not only can move, but can float just about anywhere. 
while drones are poised to change the worlds of commerce and food delivery, perhaps we should be focusing on how they can change the world of luxury as well. Thanks to all for watching. Thank you for watching my video. Please, don't forget to subscribe.